Canada's manufacturers and exporters say the timing of the disruption is challenging because it's happening right after the U.S. election when Canada needs to be seen as a reliable trading partner. Today, Donald Trump revealed some names of who will fill key positions in his cabinet, including the man now responsible for carrying out one of Trump's more controversial campaign pledges. And there are reports tonight he's set to name Florida Senator Marco Rubio as the Secretary of State. Here's CTV's Washington Bureau Chief Joy Melvin. Hi, Donald John Trump. When Donald Trump takes the oath of office a second time, he plans to carry out the largest mass deportation of illegal immigrants in U.S. history. And Trump loyalist Stephen Miller is back. The architect of Trump's hardline immigration policies, including the Muslim ban, is expected to be named deputy chief of staff for policy. The criminal migrants are gone. The gangs are gone. America is for Americans and Americans only. The man in charge, Tom Homan, named Border Czar, pledging to deport criminals first. The former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement delivered this warning at the Republican convention. To the millions of illegal aliens that Joe Biden's released in our country in violation of federal law, you better start packing now. And when asked about that controversial policy separating children from migrant parents, <laughs> could there be a way to avoid that this time? Of course there is. Families can be deported together. As many brace for what's next, Trump's immigration picks do not need congressional approval. Whether there's going to be that sufficient pushback and will to stop what would be a very cruel exercise in federal policy and I think ultimately decimate the American economy if it's carried out. Two more choices. Trump loyalist Elise Stefanik, named U.N. ambassador, and former New York Congressman Lee Zeldin expected to roll back Democratic climate change regulations when he takes over the Environmental Protection Agency. President Joe Biden meets with Donald Trump in Washington Wednesday, a tradition to show the world there will be a peaceful transfer of power. Melania Trump has indicated she will not attend. Omar? All right, Joy, thank you.